but we're taking a look at Dead Alliance, or rather we have just taken a look at Dead Alliance, and it's an interesting concept, so it's not just your traditional sort of like multiplayer shooting people each other, shooting each other in the face, you can tell it's been a long three days. It's not just traditionally just shooting each other in the face, it's got like an, an odd zombie element where you can use zombies against your enemies. Can you explain through the rough idea around the game a little? Yeah, absolutely. So, first of all, there is plenty of shooting each other in the face. <laughs> so, let's not leave that out. So, Dead Alliance is a team-based, uh, fast-paced first-person shooter. Um, the hook of the game, which is a four-on-four team-based battle, is that it's in a world that is crawling with zombies. These zombies are AI-controlled, non-playable characters, and you can weaponize, mobilize, and take advantage of these zombies and use them to your advantage on offense or defense to disrupt the flow of the game, attack your enemies, flank your enemies, really change the flow of the battle in real time um, by deploying what we call Z-Mods, which are special items and weapons that when they interact with zombies, uh, some crazy shit happens, basically. <laughs> so, um, for instance, we have a, an Enrager, which is a grenade filled with pheromones. You toss it, you hit a normal zombie, he becomes stronger, faster, and he goes after one of your enemies. So it's almost like an army in a can, um, <laughs> where you've got your buddies and you're communicating over, over voice chat or however you like to communicate during the game. Um, but it's, you're not alone out there. You've got all these zombie buddies with you as well, and you can uh, send them into battle for you. Great, and you can tell the way that they kind of swing the tide of battle as well. So quite often you can kind of send them as like a, a sort of almost a bot rush mm -hmm. before you go in yourself to start causing havoc on a point or whatever else. So what were the inspirations towards this? Was it like other sort of Mowbray games with that kind of element in? Or where, where did that kind of viewpoint come from? So the, the MOBA concept is was later in development for us. Um, really, we were already playing with this core mechanic of these AI-controlled zombies, and we sort of realized as we take in games and game culture ourselves and play a lot of games and watch a lot of games, um, that there is the potential to use these zombies in this really interesting way, in a way that would seem familiar to people um, sort of as creeps, but uh, in this first-person, fast-paced, really crunchy, sort of almost retro, quakey, fast shooter. Mm -hmm. So really, we started just as a first-person shooter, um, as fans of the genre, um, developers who had worked in that genre a bunch before, um, and then we layered on the zombies to sort of twist and change and deform that genre and do something totally new with it. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's really interesting, you, you talked about sort of the way you can send zombies ahead of you as a sort of bot rush. Um, it, you take a normal first-person shooter like a Counter-Strike or a, a Call of Duty, um, and you learn the map really well, and you learn mm -hmm. the choke points really well, and you spend a lot of time um, doing what you do best. Maybe that's rushing corners, maybe that's camping, Sniping, whatever. whatever it is you do. Um, and you know where the enemy is going to be coming from. You can lay traps, you can set right. diversions. Um, with a game like Dead Alliance, that quickly goes out the window because <laughs> zombies are, are unpredictable. The amount of weapons and items that we have where you can really send these zombies to do something interesting, uh, it changes that flow altogether. So um, flanking, rushing, camping, you can use zombies on defense and offense. You can use them to distract and confuse your enemy or just claw your enemy's face off. You know, there's a lot of stuff you can do um, in the different modes of the game that we have from your standard team deathmatch to the mobile-like mode that we call attrition, um, where you're you're capturing a series of points, doing a little bit of jungling, um, encountering some special zombies with special abilities and special rewards for killing them, um, and really doing something fresh with the first-person shooter genre. Yeah, and it's, it definitely does come across as being pretty different. You know, you get the sort of unique experience in there as well. Um, the, yeah, the, it, it's kind of hard to, to quantify it in words, I guess, but like, there, there's just a, a very odd feeling uh, as you play through to you know you, the level of unpredictability that comes along with that so it, it adds an interesting additional layer to it so i believe you guys are uh within well just over a month or so you, you're gonna be throwing out a beta so people can actually start uh, shooting each other in the face and getting them clawed off and so forth as we were talking about before so, so when is that set out for so at the end of july uh we're gonna have an open beta on all platforms i think it starts on the 27th through the end of the month of July. Right. Um, it's going to be on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Uh, and then we, we launch retail uh, at the end of August, August 29th. 
Cool. And if people were looking for like updates around the game and uh, information mm-hmm. about how you're progressing with the beta and so forth, uh, where should they take a look? DeadAlliance.com is the easiest. Um, you can also find us on all the social medias if you search for Dead Alliance. Awesome. And, I mean, you've got no excuse for not checking it out. You've got a beta coming up within just over a month. It's well worth giving a, a look to. It's slightly... Slightly more strategic way of fighting through an FPS than you would kind of necessarily expect. So definitely one to give a check out, especially when a bait is live.